Imagine this. Deep under the sea, a sudden forceful current sweeps away your only source of light. This is the chilling reality Glory Benson Jr. found himself in while on a daring expedition in the lost city of Atlantis. The founder of Glory Discovery World, Glory was no stranger to the unpredictable whims of nature. But even for him, an adventurer who had seen it all, this was a moment that made his heart skip a beat. The powerful undersea current, like an invisible hand, had ripped away the comforting glow of their submersible's lights, leaving him and his team in an all-consuming darkness. In the blink of an eye, the serene underwater world transformed into an unforgiving abyss. An abyss so deep and dark it felt as if they were staring into the void of space itself. The only sounds were the ominous hum of the ocean and the rapid beating of their hearts. The pitch black void was so complete, so absolute, that it seemed to consume not just the light, but sound, warmth and hope along with it. The darkness in the deep sea is not like the darkness on land, it's a different beast altogether. It's a darkness that's alive, that moves and breathes, and has a will of its own. The darkness was no longer just a lack of light, but a formidable adversary they had to face. Fear clawed at their chests, as tangible as the cold water surrounding them. The unknown loomed large and every second that ticked by in the crushing silence felt like an eternity. It was a moment that tested their courage, their grit, and their will to survive. But as they say, it is in our darkest hours that we find our true strength. For Glory and his team, this terrifying experience was not the end, but a turning point. A moment that redefined their understanding of the ocean's might and their own resilience. In the heart of the ocean, darkness is not just the absence of light, it is a living, breathing entity that can swallow you whole. Rewind to the start, to the moment when Glory Benson Jr. first conceived the Atlantis exploration. At the tender age of 17, Glory founded Glory Discovery World, fueled by a burning curiosity for the unknown and a deep-seated passion for wildlife conservation. Atlantis, the fabled lost city, was an irresistible lure for him. It was a mystery waiting to be unraveled, a story yearning to be told. The initial planning stages of the Atlantis exploration were fraught with challenges. Each hurdle was a test of Glory's resolve. How do you plan for a journey into the unknown, into a city lost in the annals of time? Every decision was a gamble, every preparation a calculated risk. But Glory, undeterred, soldiered on. His youthful optimism was his compass, guiding him through the uncharted waters of planning and preparation. Every great journey begins with a single step, and for Glory, that step was a leap of faith. The descent to Atlantis, a city hidden in the depths, was a plunge into the unknown. As Glory Benson Jr. and his team began their descent, the world above started to fade away, replaced by an abyss of blue, a silent expanse that was both intimidating and mesmerizing. The ocean in its vastness was a testament to the unexplored mysteries of our world, a daunting reminder of how much we have yet to discover. Navigating the depths of the ocean presented its own set of technological challenges. The team had to rely on state-of-the-art submersibles, equipped with cutting-edge sonar technology and high-powered lights to penetrate the darkness. The pressure, increasing with every meter they descended, was a constant adversary, testing the limits of both the equipment and the crew. As they journeyed further into the deep, the ocean began to reveal its secrets. Schools of bioluminescent fish darted past, their bodies glowing like stars in the night sky. Gigantic structures of coral loomed in the distance, their complex forms a testament to the unseen wonders of the underwater world. The ocean floor was a landscape untouched by human hands, a realm that seemed almost alien in its beauty. Then, among the natural wonders of the deep, they caught their first glimpse of something extraordinary. The faint outline of ancient structures, barely visible in the gloom. These were the remnants of the lost city of Atlantis, a civilization swallowed by the sea, its existence reduced to myth and legend. It was an awe-inspiring sight, a reminder of the transient nature of human endeavor, swallowed by the timeless abyss of the ocean. The exploration was not just a journey into the depths of the ocean, but also into the depths of human history. Here, beneath the waves lay a city untouched by the passage of time, its secrets preserved in the cold, dark waters. Descending into the deep, they found themselves in a world frozen in time. In the silent, sunless world of Atlantis, they uncovered secrets that had been silent for millennia. In this world of perpetual twilight, 
Glory Benson Jr. and his team were the first in centuries to witness the marvels that lay hidden beneath the waves. The first wonder to greet them was the unique marine life, unlike anything they had ever seen. Creatures adorned with bioluminescent lights, a dazzling spectacle of nature's ingenuity, a living testament to life's relentless pursuit of survival. These creatures, adapted to the harsh conditions of the deep sea, held secrets in their DNA. Secrets that could revolutionize our understanding of life on Earth and beyond. As they ventured deeper into the city, they were struck by the architectural marvels of Atlantis. Structures that defied the ravages of time, standing tall amidst the crushing pressure of the ocean depths. They were grand, they were intricate, they were the silent witnesses of a civilization long gone. Each stone, each carving, each monument was a page in the Chronicle of Atlantis, waiting to be read, waiting to reveal its story. But what made this expedition truly groundbreaking were the scientific implications of their discoveries. The marine life offered unprecedented insight into evolution, adaptation, and survival in extreme environments. The architectural relics, on the other hand, held the potential to redefine our understanding of ancient civilizations and their technological prowess. The findings were not just about Atlantis, they were reflections of our past, and perhaps glimpses into our future. The lost city of Atlantis, once a myth, now a reality, was a treasure trove of knowledge and wonder. Glory and his team, undaunted by the daunting depths, had ventured where no one had dared and in doing so, they had brought the lost city back to the world. In the heart of the ocean they discovered a world that history had forgotten, and in the process they reminded us all that there are still mysteries to be solved, still wonders to be discovered, and still stories to be told. Lost in the dark, Glory faced the ultimate test of survival. In the heart of the ocean, deep within the forgotten city of Atlantis, Glory Benson Jr. found himself alone, swept away by the relentless currents. He was far from the safety of his team, in a world where the sun never shines, and the only sounds are the wailing of the water against the ancient ruins. The odds were stacked against him, but Glory was not one to surrender easily. After all, he was a seasoned adventurer, a young man who had founded Glory Discovery World at the tender age of 17. He was made for moments like these. With limited oxygen and the pressing weight of the ocean above, Glory had to think quickly. He found refuge within the labyrinth of the ancient city, using the ruins as a shelter against the current. He rationed his breathing, conserving precious oxygen. He stayed calm, remembering his training, his instincts guiding him through the darkness. Days turned into hours, hours into minutes, and each minute felt like an eternity. But then, a glimmer of hope, a beacon of light pierced through the pitch black waters. It was his team. After what felt like a lifetime, they had found him. The reunion was emotional, a testament to the strength of their bond and their shared passion for exploration. With glory safe, they began their journey back to the surface, a journey filled with relief and a newfound respect for the ocean's might. As they emerged from the water, gasping for the fresh air, they were changed. They had faced the deep, the dark, and the unknown, and they had survived. In the face of adversity, Glory found not only the strength to survive, but also the courage to continue his journey of discovery. This harrowing experience, this dance with danger, didn't deter Glory. It only fortified his resolve, his commitment to explore, to uncover the mysteries of our world. After all, isn't that what discovery is all about? The Atlantis exploration was more than just a journey to a lost city. It was a quest for knowledge, a pursuit of the unknown, a challenge that pushed the boundaries of human courage and curiosity. Our brave explorer Glory Benson Jr. and his intrepid team didn't just delve into the depths of the ocean. They dived into the heart of history, unearthing secrets that had been submerged for millennia. This exploration has left an indelible mark on them and on the scientific community at large. It has opened new horizons, sparked fresh inquiries, and redefined our understanding of the world beneath the waves. But the quest doesn't end here. Glory Discovery World is already gearing up for future adventures, ready to explore uncharted territories, to unravel more mysteries, to bring light to the darkest corners of our planet. The mysteries of Atlantis may have been silent for centuries, but now, they have a voice, and their echo will be heard for generations to come.